This video is proudly sponsored by Ambitful. What's up guys, hope you're doing great, this is your boy Kobe Shots. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Ambitful QDP70 softbox. There's a light modifier that I just love. And I want to share with you so that maybe, maybe you may love it too. Let's get into it. I've really missed you guys. I haven't been over here talking to you like this for a very long time. That's because I have this wonderful project coming up. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, particularly for people here in Ghana, where I actually live, you're going to actually have a C at it before maybe it comes out online. Hopefully, I'm looking forward to a lot of, you know, good places to disseminate this particular film coming up very soon. That's what has actually kept me back, holding me back for all this while that I've been, been here. But let me just share with you what I've had as an experience with the Ambitful QDP70 softbox that was sent over overseas to me over here in Ghana and I've had a wonderful experience using it. I'm someone who normally loves to use huge softboxes or huge light modifiers. But ever since I started using the QDP70 softbox, I've actually realized what I was missing out on. The kind of light quality that you get from the softbox is that good. It's really that good. Take a look at these footages. I actually shot this with the softbox. And coming from someone who has been using the Godox 95cm Octabox that you have to disassemble and put together from scratch, build up the softbox with, you know, the rods like that, as compared to the design of the QD P70, which you simply have to open up the skeletal parts of the Octabox to just, you know, get it built up. And it's so simple, so easy. And when you're done using it and you want to collapse it, you just have to hold two of the lashes down, pinch them, and you just collapse it all the way around the Bowen's mouth. So allow me to elaborate more on the light quality that I get with the softbox because it is a smaller softbox as compared to the 95 centimeter that I've been using ever since I started photography and filmmaking. I realized that the light quality is not harsh because it's a small softbox. It's going to be a little bit punchy, but by virtue of the two diffusion sheets, I'm able to have soft light quality that can wrap around my subject and still have that feel that a traditional beauty dish might give you. So what you see right now, the photographs and the video slides are all from the light quality that the QDP70 actually gives. And because it's relatively small in size, mobility is also assured. And so packing the softbox into your bag is so easy because everything is put together and it's that compact. I love the fact that the QDP70 is designed with a Bowen's mount and this ensures that lighting equipment accessibility is that easy. It's made that easy for you because in the region that I'm coming from here in Ghana, um, most of the lighting equipment that I can get my hands on easily are designed with Bowen's mounts. Even if I'm going to use a speed light, I'll grab myself a bracket, which I have a couple of them lying around here in my room. So I can fit in a myriad of lighting gear like the AD600 BM, the AD200, the AD400, you know, any kind of lights that come with a Bowen's mount, which is very easy to find on the market, can be equipped with the QDP70. So now I can confidently say that there's a lighting equipment or light modifier that I can recommend with all my heart. Once again, the light quality that you get can sit between, you know, soft lighting and harsh lighting, and it's there in that sweet spot, which means that you can get your punchy feel with good skin tones, especially when you're shooting out or even indoor in the studio and you're using HSS, this lighting modifier can give you that quality that a beauty dish, a metallic traditional beauty dish will give you. And I love it so much because when I take pictures and when I'm using even, you know, continuous lighting to take my pictures as a side, you know, using the flashes, I still get this look that really makes me marvel and, you know, makes me so happy that I got hold of this. And trust me, if you get this, I'm pretty sure that you're going to leave behind most of your light modifiers that are huge, that are cumbersome to take along and even to construct. So there you have it. The QDP70 from Ambitful is a wonderful light modifier. And trust me, you're going to really love it. And I recommend it to you once again. Down in the description below is a link to where you can purchase this. Unfortunately, for over here in Ghana, you cannot get it. You can only get it through... Um, AliExpress as at the recording of this particular video right now. Um, yes, I'm going to leave it down in the description below again. If I'm able to reach out to Les Ambitful to find out where exactly else you can get it, I'm going to update that with another link down there in the description below. But for now, 
that is where you can find it. So check it out and have a wonderful purchase and you're going to love it. I can assure you of that. On the next video, I'm going to catch you later. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post notification button and I am going to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. See ya.